doing? David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. And today I have a cool lesson for lead guitar, and we're using the jam track today in the key of G minor. And I'll, t I'll tell you how you can get that jam track later for free, but it's a G minor 9 chord to a C9 chord. And we're soloing over that using G minor pentatonic and blues over all the chords, and we're also using the G Dorian mode. Remember to, to subscribe to the channel, I can't say thank you enough. That really helps us. It helps us to keep the content coming. And uh, click the like button, give us a thumbs up, put a comment below. So let me show you a couple of things I was doing and some devices using Dorian that'll sound different from pentatonic because remember, these are diatonic scales, seven note scales. G Dorian, we're gonna play over both chords. G Dorian is the same as F major. So if you know your major scales, just play them in the key of F, but start on and emphasize the G notes. We're really gonna emphasize the G notes in this because we're in G minor, right? So now the Dorian mode, we're gonna add two notes basically to minor pentatonic. Um, and the Dorian will look like this, G, A. We're adding the second. And then of course you have your B flat. C, D, we're adding the E note. We're adding that sixth. And F. Now, if I play that scale all the way up and down, you could use this shape. Okay, so we, now we have these extra note choices, these half steps, and we can commingle and mix minor pentatonic and blues, G Dorian, F major, right? So here's a cool little thing you could do with the Dorian. Now, remember the top three strings in Dorian. Right? But if we add the blue note, Right? We have that blue note in there. So, something we could do is we could bend the half step. So I'm bending on the fifth fret on the high E string up to the sixth fret. Bending that second up to the flat third. And then do the same thing on the B string. And then the same thing on the G string because you're bending to the blue note there. Right? So you get this. But if you do it with a, like a pull off, you get a cool lick. So I'm bending up, releasing, and then pulling off to the first finger, which is at the third fret on each of those strings. I'll do it slow. So bend, release, pull off, bend, release, pull off, bend, release, pull off. And then after the last pull off, I slide to the second fret because remember, that's that A note. You can bend that to the half step. So you get this. And then I went third and fifth fret. I resolved, resolved it to that G note. So you heard me play that lick in the, uh, in the intro. That's a cool one too if you do a hammer, second to third fret on the G string. So now you know the bass lick. There's so many ways to vary that. Just doing little hammer, hammer on his pull off slides, double up on the notes. So that's a cool little device that you could do just vertically working up the strings because we have these extra notes in the Dorian that you don't have in the minor pentatonic scale and they add a lot of flavor and different color. And hey, get this jam track. And jam tracks are an invaluable tool for the practicing guitarist. I'm gonna give you this one and five other ones, six jam tracks for free. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below, plus two eBooks. One is my jam track coach, where I go over the jam tracks one at a time, all six of them, and suggest things to play and stuff to try, sound a little different, and you know, uh, go over the chords and and how to figure out what to play over what and why it works. And then I also have another ebook where I diagram out all the scales, so you see all the scales I'm talking about. If you're not sure of them, just flip to the ebook and you got them. Six jam tracks, two ebooks for free. Click on that link. So now what we'll do is we're gonna do this little hammer on each note as we go up the scale. So this is a basic shape we're gonna play. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to use a hammer on and a pull off for each one. We'll try that first. So it'll sound like this. And then end, you could end that on the G note. Eighth fret on the B string. So you could skip around. You don't have to play it right in sequence like that. Or you could do like a trill, a, a repeated series of hammer and pull offs for, on each one. And that's a cool little lick scale device that you could really do with any scale, right? In any position. There, I connected it back into the first lick we were doing. So that's something that you could use throughout your playing in any scale, but it really works nice in these half steps. How about we do like a kind of faster legato style lick? And this works really well, especially over the C chord, the C9 chord, it sounds really good. What I was doing there, I did a lick like this. down the Dorian, right? And I'm ending on my G note, but I'm doing it in legato, a series of fast hammer and pull ons So all I'm doing is, if you put your three fingers, first finger on fifth, second finger on sixth, third finger on eight, and you pick once, pull, pull, hammer, hammer. Get that first. And two more pulls. Pick, pull, pull, hammer, hammer, pull, pull. Right? And you could do the same thing on the B string. It's the same. Right? And then when you connect them, I'm just picking that first note. Right? And then what we have to do is we have to kind of get down here and do the same thing using our first, second, and fourth fingers on the G string, on the second, third, and fifth frets, and on the D string, second, third, and fifth frets. And we want to end on the G note, fifth fret on the D string. To connect those two parts is what I do is I grab seventh fret to fifth fret with a pull off, slide to third, and slide to second. Then I start with the legato on that string. And I end at third to fifth fret. With some vibrato. So you mess with it. And you don't even have to do it like verbatim like I'm doing it, but throw that in there. And any little variation there. Sometimes I'll just play it and stop. And just these little flashes of these fast kind of legato licks. And you could do that with other scales too. It works really nice three notes per string. So that's something that you could use throughout your playing in any scale, but it really works nice in these half steps. I'm playing a USA made Paul Reed Smith 513 guitar. I'm playing out of the back two pickups I believe I uh, did for most of the intro. And I'm plugged straight into the front of a PRS Archon 25 watt 112 combo amp. Um, I'm in playing through the lead channel. And in the effects loop, as far as effects, all I have is a Keeley Caverns pedal. That's it. And that pedal, I have a little delay and a little reverb. Be sure to get that jam track, right? Click on that link below. We'll send you that jam track and five more. Six jam tracks for free and the two ebooks from Next Level Guitar. Keep putting those guitars in your hands every day. Stay tuned. Got lots more great stuff coming, more great content, more great lessons. And remember, your playing is an evolution. Rock on.